This carbon S spectrum has been measured from polycaprolactone. The idea of constructing a peak model is that the intensity of these peaks should reflect the number of atoms that are found in these different chemical states for carbon. So we have one that is found three times in the same chemical state, while we have three atoms, each of which are repeated only once in distinct chemical states. So the peak model should show that we have one peak that is three times the size of any of these other peaks, and we should have three peaks, all of which are the same size. Now in this case, the peak model is fitted without any constraints, and the result as you can see, is a reasonable residual standard deviation, but the peak model is not reflecting the polycaprolactone structure. So we need to see if we can actually recover the polycaprolactone relative intensities by introducing some constraints into the peak model. So constraints are specified as an interval, as you can see here. We've got position constraints, forward half maximum constraints, and at the moment these are all simply an interval within which a position can adjust. So I'm going to highlight this peak here as the one that clearly stands out as being lower intensity than you'd expect. So I'm going to do some adjustments to the peak position for this one peak by fixing the, its position and refitting the other data each time I produce a new position. So I hold the shift key down and using the left mouse button I click the position turns red because I've now fixed this. You can see this because the interval is now identical to the value. And then the other peaks are refitted to produce a new residual standard deviation. And the size has changed. It's slightly smaller than it was initially. So I'm going to return to the positioning of the mouse. So I'm going to right click and this moves the peak position to the right. And each time the other peaks are refitted, so we end up with repeatedly clicking a slightly moving peak that is producing a much bigger peak as a result of fitting the other peaks, having positioned the one peak as part of this optimization process. So if I keep going, I can end up with a set of peaks now where I can see the peak fit is again reasonably good but the ratio of these peaks is now consistent with polycaprolactone.